as I sit here with my oatmeal getting cold and my soul feeling more and more bold, a grievance arises to the top of my mind. What might that be? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's fucking hot chocolate. Let me take a swift departure to let you all know that my yard is actually being consumed as we speak. I can actually see the storm drain in my backyard, overflowing with the piss of the gods. Anyway, as I was saying, when it comes to hot chocolate, it's been a steady decline since its conception. I get very heated about this topic, unlike the chocolate in question. As it originates, to my understanding, it was an ancient Central American delicacy made primarily with dark chocolate, chili powder, and some amount of spice, possibly cayenne pepper. To mediate this mixture, a fatty liquid such as milk, cream, or whey was used. Maybe not whey, maybe I'm fucking wrong there, but you get the point. And this delightful beverage, honestly not even a beverage, more of a dessert, was enjoyed by royalty. Never by the common folk, as the cacao bean was cultivated only for the consumption of those deemed worthy. But nowadays, you know, you'll go on down to your mom and pop corner shop, you pop right in there, you see a a whole wall full of candy bars. Whole fucking wall. And that chocolate is so watered down. Milk chocolate, I mean, really, would you like some chocolate with that? Anyway, I digress. The most criminal offense towards this dish is not the cultural homogeneity that it has been forced to adopt. No, not even that. Not even the fact that as time went on, it became less spicy, less thick, and less bitter. And instead more mild, more sweet simply was deemed unfit to pass the lips of an American citizen. I'm getting a little preachy here, but do you see where I'm going with this? It, it's been disgraced. The name of hot chocolate has been spit upon by none other than the monolithic Keurig. Today I walked downstairs, you know, I feel a little hungry, feel a little famished. Been watching my favorite uh, Marvel licensed TV shows all night. You know, I think to myself, well, I should go, I should go have some nachos. So I go and I look and the fucking chips are gone. So I think, well, what do I do now? I don't know what to eat. I look in the cupboard, I look deep and I grab some oats. Some Trader Joe's organic oats, delicious, absolutely stupendous. I whip them out, you know, I whip up a bowl of oatmeal, got a little bit of, you know, like a half a spoonful of brown sugar in there. You don't wanna, you don't wanna make it like candy, you just want a little something to help it down. So as I'm preparing my oatmeal, I think, what better to go with oatmeal than a nice hot cup of joe? And so I whip it right up, I grab my Keurig pod for the hazelnut and I know to some coffee enthusiasts this may seem like sacrilege. I I don't have a coffee maker, I'm sorry. I can't afford caribou every morning, what do you want from me? But this does not excuse what I found in the Keurig. It was a pod labeled hot chocolate. Now. In what universe can you fit hot chocolate in a pod? Well, this fucking one, apparently. Today, hot chocolate 
is sold in an adulterated form. No, no, ladies and gentlemen, what you are drinking is not hot chocolate. It is hot chocolate milk. Once you get that idea in your brain, you will never feel right asking for hot chocolate again because you'll know that's damn well not what you're getting. You're getting hot chocolate milk. If I can get through to at least one person, maybe two, I will be satisfied. But I will not rest until I know that another human being on earth agrees with me that hot chocolate milk is being marketed as hot chocolate. Never once have I been graced with the bitter embrace of real hot chocolate racing down my throat. Not once. This isn't a joke. This isn't some kind of game that I play. Listen, alright, I get legitimately angry about hot chocolate. It is something that I will most likely never have the chance to try in its original form. Maybe I don't want to, maybe you think that. Well, guess again. I fucking drink aromatic bitters when I'm thirsty. There is nothing that can escape my palate. Not a single thing. If there is one thing that I've learned from this, is that deception is everywhere. But most prominently in the marketing of food products. Thank you. Good night.